What's up everybody? Brett here back today playing some more Loop Hero and we are picking up just a little bit after where we left off last time. I know it's been a few days since I uploaded any Loop Hero content mostly because of real life stuff and you know just keeping me busy so I've, I've just been doing some Total War Warhammer 2 content um, this game has sort of turned into a grind which usually puts me off of games I'm still in it. I'm still intrigued. I'm still having fun um, the game <laughs> It truly is a loop, and I mean that not just in the sense of the gameplay, but also in the the way it kind of keeps you coming back. And you, it, and that's really what a grind is, if we're being real. A grind in a game is a loop, and it's just how how fun is the loop is what you have to ask yourself when you're when you're wondering whether or not it's worth it. So in my free time, I I ground out the materials necessary to get us a warehouse, our second warehouse, and of course we had moved the position of one of our basic watchtowers out of the way. So we could put down our second and final warehouse, which has made it so that our supply cap has gone up to 33. I mean, I could put really anything here. Um, I've been thinking a lot about a storm temple build that revolves around using the exquisite mirror and the warrior. Like just really up in the chance to redirect the lightning, having the warrior just kind of get a lot of his DPS from like running down lanes that have lightning. Um, but on its own, it's completely worthless. If I'm not taking the Storm Temple, then I'm constantly going to be changing out my supplies, which is, you know, I think how you're supposed to min-max this game, but for me, it's a little bit, I don't know, less fun. I don't know. Let's put some more cheese, though. I think the food is pretty good, considering we also have the kitchen knives. So it, we've got right now currently, like, bonus 2%. HP and we have one two three four five six seven so fourteen percent bonus HP because of that I mean that seems good right it's not bad um you know this feels pretty good finding rare items could probably use a ton of those honestly the jeweler's lens regeneration only valuable for the warrior and I guess for the necromancer as well that's true I've got a bunch of these tables. Uh, this makes the campfire heals more effective. What does this do? More damage to the boss. You know, I think I want as many of these as possible. Against undead. You know, it's very situational. Like, here's one thing every run has in common. I'm going to pass the campfire, right? Do I don't necessarily need pebbles. Vampirism, once again, the rogue has 5%, so this would put the rogue up to 6%. I could see if I just made a ton of the count's chairs, and, you know, I just had a ton of them. I could give the rogue, you know, like 15% uh, vampirism on top of its 5%, 20% vampirism on the rogue sounds pretty overpowered to me. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to equip that. That's fine. So we should expect big heals from our campfire from now on. That's That's nice. And then, how many more do I have? One more? Let's just go with another stool. Or a stool, rather. Okay. Did it. I do want to upgrade more stuff. We've built every building there is to build. Um, it's probably worth it for us to upgrade stuff like the cemetery. Right now, the resurrection with 15% HP is almost useless. Honestly. You stand up and walk, but you're limping. Not good. The locals told me how one can stop limping so much. Let's see what he says. It'll be better now, trust me. Okay. And for the next upgrade, just gives me a camp item slot? It doesn't give me an increased HP? I thought it would have given me more than that. A 5% boost might not have been worth it. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Maybe there's a bigger uh, HP afterwards, or maybe it's additive, maybe it's telling me it'll give me 40%, I don't know. But another supply slot, I need, I need so many of these, these, what do they call them again? Orbs of Enlightenment or something like that, experience, I don't know. I need a ton of them. Could definitely stand to upgrade this as well, and then the War Camp also. Okay, not so many for the War Camp, you know what, I think it is cumulative. So I think we get an extra 4% from this. Metal, stone, and I need a ton of those. 
Maybe this will be our next upgrade today. But you know what? I kind of decided I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play. Let's do this is a warrior run. I would like to mess with the storm temple. Some of the advice that I've been given is just to do like really focused builds, and I think that definitely is how. I mean, that's 100% how you have to play this game. Um, I'm not there yet. I think I need more grinding, basically. I I have a very good idea of what it takes. To kind of get to the next level. I think I'm about as like good as I can be at this game. And by as good as. I don't necessarily mean like my comprehension. More like I've gone as far as this game will take me. Unless I'm willing to put in the work of the grind. Right. And it's just. I think that's just where I'm at right now. Okay. As far as the river. So I'm thinking like where. Where is my mountain and where are my suburbs going to go. The river, to me, seems to be, like, the most crucial thing. Maybe come down with the river and pass this way. So leave this whole kind of space here for my suburbs. Make a mountain here and then maybe start a new mountain there. Something like that. Okay. Not great. The width of this is kind of what's messing us up, of this particular loop. We can go three there, we can do a... Let's equip that first. I don't want to get rid of any of my items. And I'm actually going to place this here. And I found, I played some, some loops as the warrior in an attempt to grind a bit, and I got pretty far. It feels really like trait dependent and gear dependent. I did one run where I got really high quality gear, basically from killing these guys who are not that hard for the warrior to defeat. I'm getting a lot of meadows, which I don't, I don't really want. They take, if I place these four meadows, it's such a huge fraction of you know what, I'm going to start up here. It's such a huge fraction of my, like, allowable build slots. That it's kind of a waste. Okay. I'm happy to get the early suburbs. I want as much experience as I can get. We're only at 4% right now, which is pretty garbage. But we're only on loop 2. What I kind of need to practice is streamlining, streamlining my build. Taking cards out, not running the full deck. Okay, let's let's get some vamps here. Because we already know we're going to put a village there. And it's nice to have the backup of the, uh, the crossbowman watching my back. I should have checked the basic watchtowers to see... If there was maybe something we could do, like upgrade them without using any of like the really important materials, maybe we could have got them to level 2, something like that, and increase their range. Or at least their damage, I think at level 2 is what you're increasing. Okay, a battlefield. Haven't seen one of these in a, in a second. I'm going to put it here. I like that. That's some early treasure chests for us. Not going to make any sirens. And we made one of the big guys. I'm not that scared of them. It's just the uh, the warrior has so much like so many forms of regen. By himself, he's not an issue. I did have a problem on one of my runs that I did, where I ended up fighting one of these guys with a an elite harpy, and it crushed me. None of that really matters much. 
I find the attack speed to be pretty relevant too. Let's see what I get from this chest. Well, it's a mimic. Okay. Huge shield upgrade. Love to see that. Really counting on that dude to give me some, like, level relevant loot. Let's see what I'm going to get here. Time flies 50% faster is pretty sweet. And so is the resurrection charge. Damn, these are all pretty good. I'm going to take the resurrection. I don't know if I have any delusions of us getting to like the final boss in this run. I'm not I'm not going to be a pessimist about it, that's for sure. You know what? Let's get this going here. That way whenever we fight the bosses, we can have double the effects of daylight. Oh, let's also get the bonus HP here too. Alright, not too bad. And the loot was indeed excellent. And I will take the attack speed. We need a better weapon though. Our, we our damage is pretty garbage. I don't know, man. I, I don't really want to place a ton of these Chrono Crystals. Once again, they are taking up kind of like our available early build slots. They might be basically the cut I've been, I'm kind of talking about making. And I'm looking for a treasury, which is kind of what I'm holding all of these uh, these meadows for. We don't need them yet. Our region is fine. 1.7 per second. We've got 7% vampirism and then whatever the daylight gives us. Alright, still no better weapon. And I may destroy the first goblin camp I see. I'm not 100%. A level 5 weapon there would have gone a long way. Okay, we're cutting it sort of close now. It's our bonus attack speed. 29% thanks to that ring we have. Alright, I'll take that. It's something. Alright, I also don't want my hand to overflow when I'm currently holding great cards. I'm not strong enough right now to fight the boss. I need to get another loop in. So, it's basically suicide to this run for me to try and do that. Alright, let's take the, the weapon. I'm going to keep my current shield. It's between these two helmets. Retaliation damage, vampirism regen versus evasion and vampirism. I'm actually going to take... What's my current evasion? Zero. Yeah, I'm going to take this helmet. I think I can place one or two more things, but I don't need to risk it. Uh, okay. Uh, but I am 100% going to spawn the boss as soon as I pass the camp. I think that's correct. Okay. Let's get all these benefits now. go meadow and we're basically guaranteed to crush the boss you know I don't like we got to get rid of this we're bare no well, I should say guaranteed to crush the boss we're with all of our resurrections we're gonna win Could use some more Oblivions. I hate that this is like occupying some of my tile space. His palaces. At least, ha I mean, we had one. I'm not going to look a, a gift uh, Oblivion in the mouth. Nice. I'm, ha I'm so happy we got a chance to fight this guy. As long as we don't lose too many potions or anything like that, we have a chance to get better loot. That region is so nice. I don't know how much it matters versus the boss. It's probably better just to kill the boss quicker. Hmm. I hate that these are so basic. Let's try it like this. The damage just might be... 
I don't know, 2.5 regen for us is a lot. At least hold it until we get to the boss, that way we get the, the benefit from the regen up until that point. Ugh. Every potion we use right now is... That last potion really hurt me. Article of Protection, though. This is something I think we need in order to go the distance. After receiving this effect and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of Phantom Protection that equals 70 or 65% of his max HP. All damage dealt is ignoring defense. Okay, let's slow our roll here. Definitely want these benefits. Um... I'm just going to put these meadows here. Alright, let's do it. Wish me luck. Damn, look how much HP he has. Oh my god, we do so little damage. We're at full HP. Let's get the big, dam big boy damage in there. Oh, that's so much better. Counters are important. Evasion, we only have 6% evasion. Maybe we needed to try and hold out for another loop and just throw away cards. I'm confident the potions and my double resurrection is going to get me there, but we're already almost out of potions. Oh my god, it's so huge not to have wasted any of our resurrections. Okay, give me the good loot. Oh man, it gave me two level 9 helmets. Defense counter region. No, I'm gonna take this one. Need to get a village. You know what? A miner's pick I don't necessarily need. I wish I could get another one of these on the camp. I might not place any more of those, to be honest. I think that's an easy kind of cut from the deck. I like having it for the boss fight. For everything else, though, it's kind of... meh. There's my village. But I can't place a wheat field here. Unless I get another Oblivion. The importance of Oblivions is probably the number one reason to thin the deck. And I don't mind making some uh, some goblins. And I'm actually really happy he spawned right on top of me. Might not put any more beacons either. We might just be straight done with that. And I really don't want to spawn the next boss. Like really, really. I would really like to get another, like, Forge. I think that would be a huge pickup for us. I want to place this wherever the Goblins spawn, but I'm going to place it there. We're getting a lot of value from these rivers. It's time to start making our own mountain range over there. And we might just want to try and spawn that next as soon as we pass the next loop. Put that there, put another one there. Yeah, we're going to choose some potions here. This is not an easy fight for the warrior. Give me something good, man. Level seven, level 7 shield, I think. I think the defense is too much to pass. He just hit me so hard. These hundreds. 
Damn. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. Level 9 shield. That's excellent. At least we got a little regen on our weapon now. That's nice, too. 20% yeah, attack speed is so massive, but so is the extra, like, 200 plus HP. Okay. Keep it rolling. These guys are a little painful, too. But they give good stuff. We hope. Shield of Faith, not going to be relevant. I don't think it triggers on the next boss. Oh, a full hand of Oblivion cards, though. Yeah, I think we have to take that. We're going to pop that. And we're, we're happy to get the heals for now, but I also... You know, I'm going to get more cards. Let's save it for after this goblin fight. We'll keep clearing out all that space. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. Let's get the benefit of the heal. I just want to make sure. It's hard to tell when I mouse over. You know, make sure I'm not deleting a suburb or something like that. And I actually haven't been paying attention. Do the suburb, do the palaces rather count towards my, uh, like my boss bar? <laughs> Just gonna go for the strict upgrade. It's hard to tell. I didn't see anything go backwards or anything like that. Wow, we haven't taken almost any damage. Hell yeah. Excellent. Um, I kind of want to put this here. And here. The goblins are just kind of Go on buck wild wherever they want. That's kind of more for the future. We're going to get our heal here. I'm happy to place that. I'm happy to place that. I still don't think we're really even all that close. In terms of the type of... That's a good, that's a good pickup. In terms of the type of gear that I feel like I need to see... This is a little rough. Let's do it, though. Ty in terms of the type of gear I need to see in order to be confident about the next boss fight, and we're coming up on it. I'm going to try not to pull, like, a, a me where I start talking about some random subject, and then, like, I accidentally place a bunch of stuff, and then I spawn the boss. We need to finish this loop for sure, and then another loop and be in good shape in order to for me to be confident about fighting the boss 34 retaliation I like all these extra stats though but this regen's pretty huge I'm happy all these goblins are getting split up I like that big shield upgrade 11% vampirism we could use that that's almost all of my vampirism Taking a little bit of damage. We can definitely afford... Okay, I don't really want to start discarding cards. Let's, uh... Oh, it did go backwards. Excellent! I saw it that time. I'm gonna wait for that. Probably gonna end up placing a meadow. Okay, cool. Wait, did we spawn a bandit camp? We must have. I didn't I didn't actually see it. Yeah, this fight's a lot harder without crossbowmen backing us up, especially if they keep coming back to life. And especially because we don't have any of the offensive traits. I knew that when I did it. God, they keep coming back to life. That sucks so much. Need to kill the vampire first.
Because the bat gives everybody the debuff. Including them. Let's get a good piece of armor, man. Let's get, like, some level 10 armor with some vampirism or something on it. What we really need is the ability to do AoE damage. I'm gonna hold off on that. You know what? Let me see. Where did the bandit camp spawn? I have two of these. I don't see it, though. Am I blind? Bandit camp. I don't actually see it, guys. Maybe because I spawned them both in as ransacked villages, it doesn't count. That's interesting. Okay, I'm actually thinking right now it's worth it to get rid of the gabos. Keeps me from discarding an oblivion. I don't really want... I'd rather have way more positive stuff. The the Smith's Forge, I'm confident in our ability to handle that fight. The village can get out of hand, though. I'm going to get rid of that, too. No, I don't want to put that there. Jesus Christ, almost made a pretty goofy mistake. I think that would have been potentially bad. I think that's probably fine. Okay, let's go. And I'm going to spawn the boss. I'm just going to start putting stuff down. I don't think I'm going too fast. At least I hope I'm not. Okay, let's let's take Shield Master a chance to stun. Come on, good loot. You know what? I'll take an extra like 100 HP or whatever. Okay. This is nice. No more dangerous fight here. Let's go forest. See, hope to get some better loot. And I'll take a ring upgrade. Alright, and we'll spawn the second boss. And I genuinely hope that we can take her. Though if I'm being honest, I'm not I'm not hundred percent. I'm not confident. And we'll place the other wheat field here. Okay. No mimic this time is kind of nice. So we didn't lose, you know, some of our shield early. Damn harpies though, man. This evade is pretty brutal for our character. We don't have... I mean, the retaliation is our alternate means of damage, you know? It's probably actually quite a, quite a large portion of our damage, really. Place that there. Gonna be nice to get the extra river here. Along the side of the suburbs, giving us more bonus experience, which is nice. Retaliation damage is killing it for us. Um, Better weapon. Sure. I like the vampirism. And an alchemist shelf. I would like to take that home with me. That's a good item to put. Just add more and more potions. We do have another herbalist upgrade available to us. A solid piece of armor would go a long way. Something with some stats. Because we're about to get to this boss fight. And we're going to have no potions. We've got multiple resurrections, but that might not do us any good, really. We're gonna have zero potions, almost certainly. Thanks to that fight we're coming up on. Hopefully it doesn't eat into one of our resurrections. I believe. We got a stun there. Every time you see those little golden stars, it's us landing a stun that with that 10% chance. 
But we have no AoE damage. So I don't I don't really know how we beat this boss. There's a trait that gives us um, like a big AoE blast every time we pass a day. I feel like in order to beat the second boss, we like have to have the Storm Temple. And yeah, we're out of potions as predicted. But this is maybe an- I mean, we only got one orb of expansion, that sucks. I was gonna say, maybe this is enough resources for us to be happy with, like, burning some of our... our skulls or whatever. Put that down. I could honestly put another one of these, too. Could even put another one of these. Oh, that's kinda cool. Alright. I don't remember if they stack. I'm hoping they do, but maybe they don't. Either way, I don't feel like it's that much of a wasted tile, if not. Just don't kill me, bro. Alright, we get the big heal going into this fight, which is nice, because we've got- Oh no, we're gonna lose it! God dang it, and we lose a resurrection stack. As long as we don't lose this one. Alright, let's try, guys. I don't have any confidence whatsoever. But we're gonna let it roll. I just- our chance to hit her is like zero. And without the uh, the Storm Temple like just hitting all of these stained glass to make them disappear, we're just never gonna hit her. We're gonna take all. And... Retreat. I could have resurrected. There's no... I think you guys could see it. The writing was on the wall there. There was no way we were going to beat it. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I think that's all the time I have this evening. I'd like to go through and maybe make adjustments. Like, get rid of this. Add this. Maybe get rid of the meadow. Maybe get rid of... Hmm, maybe the beacon. Is cutting two things enough? What else can I get rid of, maybe? Like the road lantern? Something like this. I like the battlefield. Could cut that too, though. I don't want to be drowning in storm temples. But maybe next time we come back, I'll give it a, like, maybe one more, like, really good, maybe like a long video. Maybe we could do like in, like an hour and a half, two hours or something like that. And we could try and, um... Like, really make a, a good effort to try and, and get to the final boss. If not to beat him, to at least maybe see him. But, and I'll probably do a little bit more grinding off camera just to upgrade the war camp. Maybe to upgrade the herbalist. The potion maker's hut, right? Seems worthwhile, but I need so many of these. Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I'm Brett, channel's Good Talk Gaming. If you have any suggestions for good games that you'd like for me to play, I'm kind of in a, in a spot right now where I'm waiting for a few other things to come. Um, and I'm, I'm contemplating playing a lot of older games. Um, one of which I tried to record today, but OBS just doesn't pick it up. I was thinking about doing some Stronghold uh, HD. It's one of my favorite games from my childhood. And I was like, man, I could pick it up, do like a little, like, you know, small series on it for those who've never seen it before. It's a castle builder. It's pretty sweet. Um, but anyway, suggestions, always welcome. That's it. Take care, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.